quick video guys on how to rip out an old water tank heater tank in your basement first thing you're going to want to do is kill the main feed for your water shut that off your valve okay second thing you're going to want to do is turn your gas off so you're going to turn your gas off okay the third thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hook up a hose to your drain fitting down here and drain it into either a floor drain. However, I don't recommend doing that because you'll get water all over the place. Those floor drains ain't really meant to take out or take that kind of water flow real fast. So you're going to want to, you can drain it into a utility sink. So after you drain your tank, you're going to want to go ahead and start disconnecting your vent from the tank and move it out of the way. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the union here on your gas, your gas piping. You want to separate your gas feed from the gas valve okay and I don't know why this tank is about 35 years old and I don't know why they put I don't even know who put insulation over the tank because these tanks are already insulated inside so you don't need insulation over a hot water tank okay Next thing, when you drain your tank out and all your water is out, just make sure your pressure release valve, you release all the pressure out of your tank. You don't want no any, you don't want none of your, uh, you don't want no pressure into the tank because at that point you don't need it anyway and it's probably, it probably won't have any pressure in it anyway. But uh, after you have taken apart your union, you want to take apart the, the gas valve fittings here out of your gas valve because you you know you want to try to reuse the old stuff. You can reuse it. And what and I noticed that this drip leg here is about two or three inches off the floor, and that don't have to be that low. I think it's I think code is a foot. Code is six to twelve inches off the floor. Once you remove your gas fittings from your gas valve, you can go ahead and pull the tank out after you go after you go ahead and remove the fittings here. Undo the fittings here with a pipe wrench. And you're going to get some water that will spill onto the floor and stuff, but that's okay. And then you just move the tank out of the way and push push your other tank in. Your new tank will have a valve or a gas valve on it, so you don't have to take the gas valve off. It come, your new tank will come with a new gas valve. And that's really it. You move your new tank in, you center it over your vent. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't have no positive air flow under this vent. So what I would recommend doing is taking a taking a candle or something and go right here with a candle and make sure that there's no air positive air, positive air pressure pushing out your flame into the into the room because then that would mean that you don't have positive uh, venting from your from your burner and that would be uh, actually getting CO2 combustible air inside your home so you should always have a co2 detector located near your furnace and your hot water tank okay once you move the tank back into place and you line it up with your vent you can then go ahead and put your fittings on put the new fittings these, these fittings right here are going to come out of your tank and probably be used on the new tank. 
Then you're going to want to plumb back up your gas fitting, hook it up to your uh, the gas valve, and you want to going to set your gas valve to pilot, and you're going to hold in. the button on your new tank. Now the new tank now is going to come with a an LED light reading on there. It'll start blinking. Once it starts blinking, it should light. Your pilot should light. Then you're going to then you're going to turn it back over to pilot when you're done. <clears throat> so you're going to put this is an old gas valve, so you don't have the features on here. Uh, so you're going to turn it to run, you're going to hold in the button, wait for the green light to show, blink, and then it'll, it'll light, and then you just turn it back over to pilot. Or you're going to turn it from pilot to on, rather. I'm sorry, my, my mistake, my bad. So you're going to turn it to pilot, hold in the button, wait for the green light and then turn it over to on and that's basically how you install a new hot water tank it's not hard guys this is a Kenmore and it's probably 35 years old um, so again first thing you want to do just to recap you're gonna kill the main feed second thing you're gonna to want to do is shut your gas off third thing you're gonna to want to do is or the third thing you can do is drain your tank first and then you want to come up here and, and re remove this vent uh, tube the vent from the uh, tank and just push it out of the way or you may have to take it off you may have to take it off up here first and, and get it out of the way um, it's just some galvanized screws and then drain the tank or whatever 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 thing you want to do next but drain the tank and then then you're going to want to take off your fitting your union for your gas disconnect the fittings from the gas valve in case you're going to need them for the other tank you're going to want to disconnect up here your pressure relief uh, drip leg because you're going to want to use that on the new tank as well and that's basically it, guys. That's, it's easy to install a new hot water tank. Have a great day. Peace out.